The Rebirth of the Malicious Empress of Military Lineage, Chapter 45 My turn, I am here. Do you dare to kill? Kylin looked at the young female opposite him like it was the first time, with eyes full of disbelief. He was already accustomed to Gwang Wintang, and was spoiled as he grew up to almost the point that he could walk sideways. With regards to Shen Miao, he only wanted to teach her a lesson today. Who knew that not only Shen Miao was unafraid but to even go against him. To even say this kind of words at this moment, the one who would prevail would be him. Kai Lin, do you dare? Not to mention if he had the guts. Even if he dared, could he? The young master of the Kai family could do things in a moment of emotions, but how about the Kai family? If Shen Miao was killed by him today, not to mention about paying life with life, there exists a possibility that Shen Xin would cut down every single person in the Kai family before apologizing. Furthermore, he did not dare to do so. He was one who could show off with some smart words but had not entered a battle before, so much so that he has never drawn any blood before. His archery was certainly very good but the targets were always fruits or animals, and never people. But now, how would there be a reason to withdraw? Shin Miao, a female, was unafraid, if he, a dignified man, withdrew then most likely he would have no face to step out of his residence at all. Thinking of that, Kylan arrogantly said, as what you say, whatever skills can be seen in the archery arena. You speak happily now, but who knows if you would be so frightened that you pee yourself. His words were extremely rude, one did not know, if it was said to cover up his dismay. The calmer Shen Miao was, the more unsettled he became, and he somehow wanted to see his opponent's panic as it seemed to calm his own heart down. Therefore, he hoped that his words would make Shen Miao feel embarrassed. For an ordinary lady, if a male would speak that ruthlessly, one would naturally feel shame, and fidget in embarrassment or most probably cry in a fit. But when Shen Miao heard him, she only shot a glance at him and that peaceful manner made Kai Lin feel that it was all his willfulness. He was also somewhat baffled, and suspected that he was somewhat muddled. How could he feel a guilty conscience when facing Shen Miao? This idiot! Shen Miao had already gone to the examiner to get the fruit. That fruit was as big as an adult fist, and it was square-shaped at the bottom while its top was round. Shen Miao stood at the utmost east side of the stage, and placed the fruit on top of her head. The arena started to gradually liven up. At this moment she must be forcefully keeping herself calm, but is frightened out of her gall. Yi Pale Ant smiled as she said, I really cannot wait to see her so scared that her tears, and mucus flows. Ever since Ming Chi examinations were established, there was never a time that a female would be challenged by a male in a military topic. Zhang Zhezhuan stuck her finger up, and crooked her head. Shen Miao can be considered the first, but to be made a fool in front of everyone, it would be terrible just thinking about it. Ayo, why is fifth lady still standing up in front? What if the young master Kai misses? Ren Wan Yun said. She felt some predicament in her heart. If something happened to Shen Miao, no matter how well Shen Xin treated the Shen family, he would also not let her off the hook. What is second Sao worried about? Chen Rikayu lightly said. Anyways everything is just kids playing around. The young master of the Kai family is not a child who does not know anything. As long as fifth lady softens up, and asks for mercy, naturally, he would not make things difficult for her. Now, one can only hope that fifth lady would not fight back in a moment of anger. She took this kind of life, and death matter and used kids playing around to describe it. After all, Ren Wan Yun was the one managing the family, and if anything went wrong, it would be her who would bear it. However, 
Her words went into Ren Wanyan's heart. Everything was because of Shen Miao's spur of emotions. If Shen Miao asked for mercy nicely, and said a couple of nice words to Kai Lin, she naturally would not have fallen to this point. Rest assured, Chen Riki said, I see that gentlemen from the Kai family most likely just wanted to scare fifth lady. In this academy examination, everyone is fighting for an elegant demeanor. Thus, it would not be possible to stop now. Mother need not have to worry. Chen King also said to Ren Wanyan, Kai Lin's archery is very good, and it would not be the case that the targets are not hit. Chen King was thinking that since Shen Miao was blocking her dreams of being a prince's wife, she could not wait to pull down Shen Miao's prestige to nothing. Hearing that some people could be so scared that at times they would wet themselves, she wanted to know what would Shen Miao do. Shen King thought if Kyle and missed, it would be good to have her face ruined. Shen Yu did not go as far ahead as Shen King. She only wished to look at how Shen Miao would beg for mercy while kneeling as this could gain back her own self-esteem. She glanced at Kai Lin from afar but he did not seem to have seen her. Kai Lin was holding the longbow in his hands as he faced Shen Miao who was 30 Zhang, 1 Zhang equals 10 feet, away with his forehead filled with cold sweat. Shen Miao stood there quietly as the wind blew her cloak. Between the rustling of the purple cloak, her brows were just like its surrounding but there was a type of majestic bearing as if it was the calm after one had experienced storms, and waves and it coated a layer of dazzling brilliance all over her. Kai Lin slowly pulled the bow as he thought, as long as Shen Miao begs for mercy, as long as one tear falls, and she asks for mercy, he would then take the opportunity to humiliate her, and he would not need to be in this dilemma anymore. Unfortunately, his wishes were fruitless in the end. Shen Miao had a calm expression as if he was not worth her attention. Shen Yu frowned. Why has the scene of Shen Miao crying for mercy is not occurring? Why did Shen Miao look even calmer than Kai Lin? There were already many people who had realized this point, and their original impression of that idiot gradually changed. Not every young lady could stand with a bow and arrow pointing at her without having great waves of expressions. If that was inherited from Shenzhen, who had an unchanging face of calm in front of the enemy, one can only say that when a father was a lion, the daughter could not be a dog, means like father, like daughter. Kai Lin's hand started trembling, and the fruit that was three jong away, one jong equals ten feet was normally an easy feat for him, but today it was exceptionally difficult. That distance seemed to be very far away, and Shen Miao's words lingered by his ears, I am here. Do you, dare to kill? Did he dare? With a Zayu sound, the arrow streaked across fiercely, but it only stayed in the air for a while before falling off, so much so that it even dropped before it reached the hems of Shen Miao's clothes. It was as if not enough energy was used, much less able to hit the target which was the fruit. The entire arena was filled with laughter. Even some of his classmates laughed as they joked, Kai Lin, do you have a tender, and protective feelings for the fairer gender, else why can you not even shoot at three Zhang? One Zhang equals ten feet, when ten Zhang, one jong equals 10 feet, targets will be hit accurately. He wiped the sweat on his forehead, and immediately started to pull the bow again. The second arrow landed at Shen Miao's feet. The third one brushed against Shen Miao's hairstyle, and touched the fruit, on top of Shen Miao's head. Shen Miao's hairstyle become undone, and her black hair flowed down her entire shoulder. However, even when the arrow brushed past her, she did not change her expression at all. The black hair, purple clothes, and the fair complexion of the young female stood up straight in the wind. Both Kai Lin's hands softened, and the bow, 
and arrows fell all around the floor. The entire arena was silent. Even a fool could see that the person who was afraid was not Shen Miao, but Kai Lin. I am here. Do you dare to kill? You dare not. I dare. She smiled lightly and that bright pair of cub-like eyes had a trace of ruthlessness. Coupled with her currently slightly naive face, it was strangely beautiful. Now it's my turn. 